Nick DeLauder. We're at uh, the Fox Racing Shocks booth at Interbike 2011. We're here to show you our concept model with the smart suspension setup pump. So this is a tool that will help you uh, guide your rider through the initial setup of a new bike and it measures air pressure change as you get into your travel with the sensors integrated into our pump. It communicates wirelessly with your smartphone to be the interface for the initial setup. So we're going to start this. We're going to start the setup. It asks us to identify the fork or shock, so we're going to scan the QR code so we know all the parameters of the fork. We're going to scan the shock, and now it knows what we're working with. So the interface prompts you to open up all the uh, damper controls on our product, so we're not measuring it with the lockout on. Our rebound is going to be wide open. We can start from scratch. We've attached the pump already to our fork. So now it's gonna ask us to get our rider on the bike. So let's go ahead and have our rider mount the bike. We want them in their riding position. And it's measuring the increase in air pressure as he goes into his travel. So you can get off the bike now. And we can see the result. He's getting 22% sag. So it recommends reducing the air pressure from the 50.5 we're working with now down to approximately 41. So we're going to let some pressure out. And you can see it reads live on the screen. So we're going to let a little more pressure out and get our rider back in position so we can retest this. All right, so let's retest. Now we're ready to mount the bike again. measuring and now you're ready to get off and it'll give us our results 24% our general guideline is 25% sag let's call this close enough for this demonstration so we'll move on to the next step which is addressing our rebound speed it asks it asks us to close our rebound fully and then open it back up 10 clicks so we can start somewhere near the middle of the range now it's going to want us to compress the fork a number of times. So we're going to have our rider go ahead and compress the fork four times. And it's measuring the return speed based on the air pressure changes. So you can see here it reads that it's coming back a little too slow. It's outside of our target range. So we should open the rebound speed up just a little to get it to return a little faster. So we're going to retest it again. And you can go ahead and cycle it four times. And now it says that we've fallen right inside the middle of the target range. We're good, no adjustment necessary, so we'll move on to the next step. So the pump pr prompts us to disconnect from the fork and reconnect to the shock, which we've just now done. Now we're gonna hit continue. It's measuring the unloaded state. Now it asks our rider to sit on the bike again. So we're gonna repeat the procedure we did for the front end. So our rider's on the bike in his riding position. And it'll tell him to hold still for a moment. And now he can dismount to see his results. He's only getting 15% sag. This bike was obviously set up for somebody a little bit bigger. So we need to reduce the pressure from 147 to approximately 136. And it measures live on the screen here. You can track your work on your interface device. So now we're down close to that target pressure it estimates for. We're gonna retest. So it's measuring the unloaded state. Now it's asking our rider to mount up again. step off to see the results, 18% sag. We're getting a little bit softer for you. Okay, let's try this one more time. Retest. Now hop back on. Okay, 23%. Our goal is generally 25%, but we'll move on to the rebound speed setting. We're pretty happy with that. So next, we're gonna open up our rebound control all the way and then close it, close it all the way and then open it up eight clicks. So we need to test that by loading the bike eight, four times here. So we'll go ahead and have our rider do that for us. 
and measuring that rebound speed tells me that we're too slow. So we're gonna to wanna to open this up three clicks. So let's retest it. We can repeat that process, compressing it four times. And now we're a little too fast. Let's slow it down. Okay. Last time, this should get it for us. So we're close to our target range. If we were happy with that, great. We could continue to retest and adjust, but we can also get our summary page and we can save our settings and we can name them anything we want. We can come back to this, let's call it all mountain. We'll save it and then we can uh, retrace our steps and go into our saved settings to bring up different uh, settings for different applications. You can have it all saved in here so you can go back to something and retest as you change from course to course, let's say. But right now this is just a concept model. Um, it's an illustration of some of the, the technologies we've been working with. So we've been working with Garmin and Ant Plus to help develop this technology and it works uh, with your Garmin 800. It integrates with that and uh, tracks all of your settings. You can save them on that piece as well.